Uncle Rich. And I'm Aunt Melinda. And we are Chris's favorite uncle. And aunt. And my sister is Barbara, Chris's uh, mother. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so memories of Chris, uh, uh, with Alan being in the service, um, our family had the privilege of having visits by our um, my sister and brother-in-law, Alan, every maybe three years or so. And when we got together, we ate a lot and we played a lot of games and we went and had a lot of fun. And I pulled out two photos of a, of a photo album that would show you some of my memories of Chris. Here's one where Chris is uh, in an inner tube about three feet in the air as we went boating and he had no fear. And I think at same trip, we went bungee jumping. And this is either Jonathan or Chris, but I believe it is Chris. And I remember that day that he continued to, um, I think he was the first one in line. And as soon as he finished his bungee jumping, he would immediately go back in line to go jump again. So my nephew, Chris, is a fearless, awesome, fun-loving, adventurous dude. So in preparation for this video, we pulled out our home videos and we just watched one from 1994. Or three? 1993. How old were you then, Chris? You'll have to do the math back. But we watched all the cousins playing upstairs and downstairs. As adults, we were all in this room playing card games, but somebody had our video camera and they were videoing everybody upstairs. And we saw some things on that video that we've never seen before. You guys had a blast. So come back. We'll get out the card games, recreate all of our old memories from 1993. Congratulations. We we're, love you guys. We're excited for you and happy for this freedom. So good to extend to you our sincerest congratulations. From Houston, Texas. Star, thanks for inviting us to be a part of this. We're excited and really quite humbled to be able to pay tribute to you, one of our great Chicago South missionaries. There's a whole lot that we could say, and you know, I like to say a lot, but I'm going to condense it and say, Elder Cooley, you are a humble, loving, kind man with such a gentle spirit and a smile that reaches down into my heart and melts it. I want you to know I love you and I'm so excited for you as you start this new part of your life. And if I could give any advice, it would be this. Make the temple your second home. Be there often. It will bless your life and especially your marriage. Great job as always, <clears throat> Chris. Uh, you know, one of the great virtues that you brought to our Chicago South Mission was your really wonderful, kind character. I just didn't have to worry about who you'd be assigned to because I knew that you would be just wonderful. And you showed it. Your smile, your always positive attitude. Lord bless you and star both of you that you begin this marvelous journey together to eternity. It's our prayer and hope that everything will go well for you. We love you both and Merry Christmas. Love you. I have a heart of gold. And uh, it was my honor to get to know you um, because you are a good guy. And you know, that phrase gets thrown about a lot, you know, oh, he's a good guy, you know, stuff like that, but you, you are a good guy. You love people, you love your friends, your family, I'm sure Star can feel that love as well, and I... I want to tell you how much I appreciate the time that we got to know each other. Um, 
that uh, we were able to become pretty good friends. Even just with the three weeks <laughs> that we were in the MTC together. Um, I think it was three weeks. I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> it's been so long. Um, kept in touch, you know, all these years. Uh, and it sounds like you've had some, uh, some hard times, uh, you know, like all of us do, but, um, I want you to know your Heavenly Father is there for you, uh, and he loves you, um, uh, as he does all of his children. Uh, I hope, I, I, I don't know if you have or not, but I hope you've kept your testimony alive um, and you've grown, grown stronger in your, in your testimony with Jesus Christ and uh, and I, I, I know you have because that's the kind of guy you were um, you had a deep faith and, and I think we could all tell that all the guys that were in the, the same group together so thank you for Getting me through the MTC, uh, it would have been boring as you know what um, <laughs> if you did it. This is fun time. So Chris Cooley, when when he was serving a mission in uh, Plainfield, Illinois, he was one of the coolest missionaries. Why? First time he comes and he says he doesn't eat spicy food. Anyhow, he starts eating spicy food. So I make him the masal dosa curry and he starts eating it and as time goes by his entire face has turned red and pinkish and he's still somehow struggling it and then he said he was he did not like it or I don't know what was the situation so I felt like oh he did not like it but as time went by by the time at the end of the mission he started eating all the spicy food so the whole thing is he's a man that once he um, determines about doing something he goes after it and makes it happen so that's the best part of uh, Chris Cooley and we love him and all the best and congratulations on his wedding love you Chris bye hey Chris this is James um, so we had met um, serving together in the Chicago South Mission uh, I really enjoyed serving with you you're one of my favorite companions to serve with one of the attributes that I really enjoyed um, about you was that you always had a good positive attitude about things um, and a great sense of humor. Usually it came with a, a copious amount of sarcasm, which always made for interesting and fun adventures. <laughs> uh, I can recall one of the instances that uh, we had gone on exchanges out to, you'd gone out to Gary, Indiana, and while you were out there, you'd found a sign that had a uh, retarded child in block and so it was funny because you know you you being you with the sense of humor you went and stood by it and got a picture so i've got that there for you just you know for old time's sakes it was pretty awesome it was just funny um it was great great serving with you i just really enjoyed it just super fun uh, we always had a good time there was always adventures sometimes it involved food or other things like that i can remember once when uh we I'm trying to remember what it was. I, I don't remember if it was a district meeting or what it was. We had some sort of meeting we had to go to, but not all of us were in the meeting. And so s somebody dared you to eat basically a half a sheet of pancake. And so uh, you finished that off. And then afterwards, we went to a all-you-could-eat Chinese buffet and still still went and ate more, which is really surprising. It was super funny. But... Um, as, as far as any sort of advice that I would give you for the future, uh, don't ever lose your sarcasm. It would, uh, it'd be like losing your arm, literally. I don't know if you remember, uh, this instance, we took a picture and it was, uh, just the lighting to it for some reason. And it probably was just cause I didn't have that great of a camera or anything like that. It made it look like you, uh, were missing an arm for a day. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. So if I was to give you any advice, say, don't don't lose your sarcasm. It'd be like losing your arm, and that's not funny. <laughs> uh, but congratulations on the marriage. Really excited for you. That's great. So really happy for you. I'm Blake. I'm Kelsey. I'm Brayden. I'm Skyler. 
and we're Chris's cousins. And we each have some memories that we're gonna share about Chris for your wedding. Um, so one of the memories that I have was way back in the age where not even Nintendo 64 was here. Chris uh, would occasionally be at grandma's when I would be there. And we had a TV down in the basement and we had, it might have been the original Nintendo or it might not even have been that, but there was one game in particular that had the, I don't know what the game is called, so I'm gonna have to describe it, but it had the bar at the bottom that was pong. pong. It was pong. Move back and forth, <laughs> and the ball would come up and yeah. hit everything up at the top. And as the game went on, the ball moved faster, so you'd have to get that done. So we, we both played that same game, and we shared that same interest a long time ago. So that's my memory. I, remember I have that. other memories, but that's 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 one that I have. I remember being at Grandma's house. Anytime you guys would come into town, and um, we'd have creamies or just hang out or do anything, and then all night long you guys would come over to our house and and we play games play board games card games any any kind of game, kind of game. until we passed <laughs> out yeah. play all night phase yeah. 10 with card rules mm -hmm. Kelly rules we're always playing games that's probably my most favorite memory is just playing games over and over and over and until we couldn't take it anymore and we did it every single night you were in town Oh, your turn, Sarah. <laughs> well, I have um, I didn't meet you too long ago, but I do remember that I got to play the harp for you, and that was cool for me. And why didn't you meet him until not too long ago? Because I'm the youngest. Because <laughs> you weren't born. I wasn't born. <laughs> Chris is 34, and Skylar's 15. <laughs> Okay. Glad you came to visit. Congratulate him. Congratulations. 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 We're so excited. Hey, Chris. How are you doing, bud? I hope you're doing well. I want to congratulate you on your big day coming up. Unfortunately, I can't be there. I'm actually in Denver right now, right in the middle of some training for work, and so I, I couldn't get away. But I wanted to make a quick video to send my congratulations. And also just to thank you for your friendship and for, yeah, just being a great friend. We had some good times as teenagers, some good memories. And for anyone else watching this video, I want to share a quick memory. Uh, this goes back to March of 2003. Our area got hit with a big snowstorm. And at the time we were in early morning seminary and as we went to early morning seminary there at the high school, the storm really wasn't much of anything, but as the morning progressed, the storm intensified and we soon found out that school was canceled. And so I didn't have a car, uh, but Chris being the nice guy that, that he is, he offered to give me a ride home. Well, the car that Chris was driving at the time, I'll just say it probably wouldn't be my first choice of car to drive in a snowstorm or on slick roads. But as teenagers, we didn't really care. So we got, got in the car and Chris proceeded to take me home. Well, so we get to my neighborhood and there's a pretty big hill to climb. And as we started to go up the hill, the car was struggling and I thought to myself this is not going to end well but Chris he has some mad driving skills and determination and somehow he got us up that that hill in those crazy conditions and he got me home safely so Chris good one I I owe you my life but really Chris yeah thanks for being a great friend uh, I I wish you the very best. Uh, you deserve to be happy. I hope you and your bride just have an awesome day and uh, just an awesome life together. I hope that we can get together sometime in the near future and catch up. But until then, again, congratulations. Uh, love you, man. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Hey, Chris. How's it going? This is Sean. Uh, you know, the thing I like most about Chris is that he is very optimistic 
and he has a quirky sense of humor that I really enjoy. He's a really good friend to everybody that he meets and I feel like my life is better because I've known Chris. He's a really, really good guy. Um, my advice for marriage is I read somewhere that they said the problem is between um, it's you and your wife against a problem, not you versus your wife. So just try to do your best to make her your partner and everything will go well. So good luck with everything. I hope all is well. Love you, man. Bye. Hey, Chris and Star. Hey, congratulations, you two. We're so excited for you. I'm sorry that we weren't able to come to St. George to be there in person, but we wanted to at least submit this video so that we could celebrate with you in this way. Sorry, this is a little bit shaky. We're on a road trip right now, so we're in the car trying to record with the kids yelling occasionally in the back. Um, but there are a couple personality traits that Chris, we really admire in you, and we just wanted to, um, to talk about for a minute. And one of the personality traits that I admire most in you is your loyalty and unconditional love for the people around you, and um, how you're there for people through thick and thin, and, and um, your love and your loyalty has no bounds. Well, and one of the things that I always appreciated about you, Chris, was um, your optimism and your positivity. And I know that, you know, things always haven't been easy for you. And even in uh, some of your difficult times, I know we were there for some of those, that you were always positive, you were always optimistic, you always had a smile on your face. And I knew one of the, the great things, whenever you'd come over to, to hang out, we all were smiling. We all were laughing and having a good time. And I think that energy that you bring with you and that spirit that you have with you is, is special. Um, and that's one of the, the, I know, key pieces that'll be a part of your marriage is that, that happiness and that positivity, and we're so excited for you. Yeah, and we know that these personality traits are going to be, um, to, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Paramount to a happy, loving marriage. And Star, we can't wait to meet you someday. And if you decide, I know, to add some members to your family in the future, um, hey, those, those traits are going to be key as well, and I know... Uh, your future looks bright, Chris, and we're so excited to, to, to see where you go. We love you and Star, and congratulations again. Congratulations.